Hello everyone, it's Kingsley and Cathy here at the beginning of another week. It's Monday here in North Allerton. Thank you to those of you who joined us last night for our live session. We always really enjoy them. It feels like one big family. And so we're going to be celebrating communion again this week every day. And Cathy's going to read some verses to start us off. We're reading from the book of Judges in chapter 11 about a chap called Jephthah. Now, Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valour, but he was the son of a harlot, and Gilead begot Jephthah. Gilead's wife bore sons, and when his wife's sons grew up, they drove Jephthah out and said to him, You shall have no inheritance in our father's house, for you are the son of another woman. Then Jephthah, Jephthah fled from his brothers and dwelt in the land of Tob. And worthless men banded together with Jephthah and went out raiding with him. And it came to pass after a time that the people of Ammon made war against Israel. And so it was, when the people of Ammon made war against Israel, that the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Tob. And they said to Jephthah, Come and be our commander, that we may fight against the people of Ammon. And Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, Didn't you hate me and expel me from my father's house? Why have you come to me now when you're in distress? Do you know what my favourite programme was years ago when we first got married? 18? Yes, it was... I used to love the A team. And part of the reason why I, I loved it was because they used to shoot people and people were in car, car crashes and trucks would zoom upside down, burst into fire, but it always showed them getting back out of the car again. No one ever died on the A team, and that's why I liked it. It was really, really good fun, and I love it when a good plan comes together. It was run Mr. T and B.A. Baracus. Oh, I was just it was a wonderful program. I'm sure many of you probably remember that as well. But it reminds me, when we read this story of, of Jephthah, it reminds me of that because he is like a, a renegade, really. And they were renegades who were back from war together, wanted by the military and, and for whatever they did, and they were on the run. And Jephthah is a bit like that. He, he was the son of a prostitute. And when his brothers from his Mum grew up, his father's... Well, I'm going to get confused again. I, brother from another mother. <laughs> when his brother's from another mother, sister from another mister. Okay, no, no, they get carried away. Anyway, when they grew up, they threw him out and he had to go off to the land of Tob and join the A-team. And he became a fighter and he was a brilliant fighter. And then they come looking for him later on. And so the thought just today, we're going to look at this today and tomorrow. The thought is this, is that actually it doesn't matter what our background is. It doesn't matter where you've come from. It doesn't matter what you've gone through. Oh no, it may have affected you, but actually from God's perspective, as far as being useful and being a child of his, it makes no difference where we've come from. So we're all equal. It doesn't matter if you come from an intelligent background, a wealthy background, a well-known background or whatever, no background, it makes no difference. We are all the same in God's eyes. Isn't that fantastic? So I want you to think about that as we come to communion today. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and we are reading from the book of Matthew. And it tells us that as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. And it talks about the forgiveness of sins there. Uh, and it doesn't matter when they're all sitting there with him, all the disciples. You know, one, they were all different, weren't they? One would, would betray him. Uh, some of them lost their temper. Some of them, I mean, you'd never build a business on those 12 disciples, would you really? But Jesus forgave them all for their past, wherever they've been from. And that's a wonderful thought. It makes no difference. So today, as we break bread together, if you need to pause the video and do go get yourself ready, but I'm sure you're all probably ready, all, already ready. We're going to break this, just like Jesus broke it. He broke the bread. And ours is a cracker here, but just it reminds us of his body that was broken for us. 
And so we break this together and let's eat remembering that his body was broken for us. Let's eat together. After supper, he took the cup. And every day we take this, we set Jesus before us. It's got nothing to do with us being good or bad or indifferent. It's got everything to do with him. We're actually irrelevant when we come to this in one sense, because it's all about him. So when we come to this, this juice that reminds us of his blood, it's not blood, it reminds us of it. All we're doing is we're setting him before us and saying, thank you that you died on the cross for me. You cleansed me from my sin, purified my heart. You're with me always. You look after me. When I'm sick, you can come and heal me. You can be with me. When I'm lonely, you, you're just alongside. And so we give you thanks today. So Lord, I thank you for your blood that was shed for us. And I pray for each of our friends across the world today, those who need a special touch here, pray especially for Co again, who we're praying for over the weekend, that you'll touch him. And Doug in San Antonio, he's had a rough week last week, and we pray you'll strengthen Doug. And all our friends around the world, be with them and bless them today. Those that are lonely, those who need a special touch from you, do that today as we drink together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I think uh, there's a possibility that Kathy might have a hymn. Yes, it's one I've never heard before, and it doesn't have an author listed. So I'll read Is that one of these are non? I used to like the non me no, most. Hasn't even done an anon. Oh, okay. But it's lovely words. It says, Abba Father, we approach thee in our Saviour's precious name. We, thy children, here assembling, access to thy presence claim. From our sin his blood has washed us, tis through him our souls draw near. And thy spirit too has taught us, Abba Father, name so dear. Once, as prodigals we wandered, in our folly far from thee. But thy grace, o'er sin abounding, rescued us from misery. Thou thy prodigals has pardoned loved us with a father's love, welcomed us with joy overflowing, e'en to dwell with thee above. Wonderful. Do you remember first time we went to Israel, one of the things that blessed you most was in the airport on the way back. Do you remember? Abba. Yeah. The little kids who were looking for their dad and they were saying, Abba, 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 because that's what they say over there. So God bless you. We'll be back with you again tomorrow, Tuesday. Bye-bye.